Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, starting a little short series of subsistence. Uh, I used to play this a long time ago. Um, they've made a lot of changes since the last time I played. So let's get into it. I'll start off with probably about four or five episodes and if it seems like it's something that people want to watch then I'll uh, keep on. So we'll just pick a profile. We'll just go all the way back here to profile number five. We're going to leave the Hunters enabled, Revenge and Periodic Attacks, we can do that. Uh, let's start for the month of April. 24 days is kind of short. Um, I've seen people do 200, I've seen people, I've heard of people even doing 365. I would say we're going to start with uh, 60, let's do 120. Let's see how that is. Okay. And here we go. So what I'll be doing is um, to kind of avoid background noises and stuff. I'm going to be muting my microphone. Okay, looks like I have got a pretty good starting location. So when you start off the game, you look in your inventory, you got a bandage, uh, you got one set of matches, you got some water, some bullets, an apple, you get a hatchet, a gun, and a and a little strobe light. Um, that's about it. So it's here, it tells us what we got to do, collect some logs, some fibers, and eventually you want to put down a BCU. Um, so for those who hasn't played this game before, whenever you put the BCU down, that's when it enables the hunters. So make sure that you're ready. So you'll see these bags all over the map, and whenever you see them, you want to get them. Uh, those, there's wolves, bears, there's cougars in the cold area, there's deer, as you can see right there. So, of course, a uh, deer would be really nice right now, but we don't have a bow. Uh, we do have a pistol, but I don't think the pistol would kill it. So, the problem would be we could shoot it maybe once or twice, then you'd have to run after it, and, well, that probably wouldn't turn out well. Here we have some cordage. Now, I have no clue where I'm at on this map. I believe now if you hit M, so there you go, now you have a map. I believe back in the day, there was no map, so just had to use kind of like the offline versions and kind of hope or using uh, landmarks to figure out where you're at. So uh, one of the key things that I'd recommend you do is pick up everything. Leave nothing behind and as you're running around you want to collect um, wood and let's see. Earlier what I picked up that was uh, some cordage and that's what you use to make uh, rope. It's like your fiber. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of run around, let you guys enjoy the experience. Um, as you can see, the game, there's the sun. Remember, the sun ri rises in the east. It's going to set in the west. So I'll go ahead and mute it, and uh, I'll just talk whenever something interesting pops up. Oh yeah, so there's also ores that you can collect. Um, when we first started off, I'll run back to where we first started off so I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, nope, there's a wolf. When he growls the first time, that means he's alerted. If he growls the second time, he's coming at you. So... I'm not going to do that. But yeah, there's the ores. I uh, just want to tell you, don't try and get the ore with your axe. You can do it, but the uh, durability drops really fast. So you want to collect these. This is fiber. That's what we use to make rope. Of 
course, you already know we got to collect wood. And then... Okay, and different types of trees have different amounts of wood. So as you can see, this little one here, it only had three. Now, these are the ones you want to look for. These big babies here. I call them Big Betty's. And there you go. We just got a uh, tree grub. And that's what you use to make uh, for fishing. Oh, there's a the bear right over there. So, you definitely, like I said, you want to avoid the bears and the wolves until you're ready. And like I said, those guys, unless you have a shotgun, I wouldn't even mess with it. So, again, these boxes, we pick everything up. Leave no, nothing behind. So. So there's a, a chicken. Now, in order to make arrows, you need feathers. Um, let's see, we can try and catch this little booger. As long as he doesn't take off running towards a bear or a wolf. Now these things are really hard to catch. Uh, and we got it. Talk about lucky. Oh my goodness, people. So he's still alive. We're not going to kill him yet. Because the moment you kill him, then you got to harvest the meat. And then, of course, that has a spoil timer. So again, as you can see, this is ore. Uh, don't use your axe. You want to wait until you get a pickaxe. And as you can see, this one had four pieces of wood. So uh, to make items, you just hit tab. Then you can, like, here's your weapons. So a pickaxe, we would need a plank. Uh, we need four pieces of metal. And we would need uh, two ropes. So, oh yeah. And uh, so, again, during the daytime, you can collect quite a bit of wood. So my recommendation is you want to process items while you're running around doing stuff so for instance here we need planks so we just we got 30 pieces of wood it takes three so let's just make that right now the next time what we're going to do is make some sticks and to make rope we can make two of those and just let it run in the, it'll run in the background while you're still harvesting And you'll notice you can't harvest anymore because you'll see an X. And that tells you basically that you've harvested all the wood. Uh, it does reset. So after a certain amount of time, basically by the next day, you're able to re-harvest from the same trees. So. Okay. Another item you can harvest right here. This is a medicinal herb. You can use that to make uh, medication. And you can also use it to make oil biofuel So chickens you can run down and catch, but the rabbits, uh, no. No luck in that, my friend. You were definitely not going to catch a rabbit. And uh, believe it or not, a bullet doesn't kill a rabbit. So I would have to shoot that rabbit at least two or three times, and that's usually not that easy. So uh, wait till you get an arrow, and then when we get arrows, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get the, uh, the rabbits. See, now there's a wolf. There's some cordage over there, but it's right next to the wolf. It's not worth trying to antagonize them, so we'll just keep moving along. So
So this lake here is new. Uh, this was added in one of the previous updates a while ago. But this is one of the newer areas. So, like I said, it's been a while since I played. Uh, oh, blueberries. There we go. And so when you eat, you'll see you need proteins, fruits and vegetables, and water. So you need to get all of those. So, of course, apples, blueberries, those are going to be your fruits. Protein is going to be the meat that you get from animals. This saw quarters over there. And then, of course, water you get from drinking water. And sometimes you get lucky and you'll find a bottle. And if you take a blueberry and mix it with a bottle of water, you actually get um, a lot better uh, liquid or water consumption. Oh, look at that. We already got an arrow. Talk about lucky. And there you go, Big Betty. Okay, there's another chicken. Let's see if we can get on to run the other way. Uh, I just start clicking the E button, and when he stops, if you get lucky, you can get him. And we got him. That's what I talk. All right, so. Uh, this is a good spot to show you in the water. I oh, already saw it. Normally use a pickaxe, but here they got clams. These clams have pearls, which are kind of rare. So normally I would not tell you to do that, but for pearls, I would say definitely it's worth using the axe for it. Here we have kelp, and that's a, a fruit item. That's sand rock, which you later on use to make glass, but again, unless you have a pickaxe, it's just going to ruin the quality of your um, hatchet, and it's just not worth it. So, you know, everybody's different. You know, kelp, you need that for making uh, an item so that if you get poisoned or injured by an animal, you get bit, sometimes you'll get sick. And you'll need that with a liver. But of course, it's going to take a while before we can get a liver, so we'll probably just use that now for the fruit. Okay. So the way the game is designed, um, you have like fence, like there's like a fence that goes around the border. So it's like you can't just walk in one direction as far as you want or something like that. Uh, there's like a fence that goes around the area. That's kind of like the way he's designed it to keep you into a certain space. So it's not like you can just go anywhere you want. So. Again, this is the new area. I'm not familiar with this area that much, so I'm probably not going to want to set up base. I want to try and get to the other location. However, I'll be honest, I probably should have looked at a map to see which way I needed to go. So basically what I'm going to end up doing now, this is a big betty, so we're going to definitely get that grub. There we go. So, what do we need to make a fishing pole? We need some rope still. And we don't have enough rope and we still need more metal. So, alright, here's another box. Blueberries are good. Thought I saw a box right up here. There's a wolf. Okay, there was no box. Oh. I heard a 
chicken somewhere. There's a wolf. There's a wolf off to the right too, so I'm gonna try and avoid those guys as best as possible. So when you build your base, uh, one of the things you want to pay attention to is you need water. Certain places will freeze over, but like running water like this doesn't freeze over. So things like that to take, you know, you can keep that in consideration. Um, uh, one of the times I built my base was next there's an the older area, there's like a nice spot where there's a waterfall. How, oops. Okay, let's hope to God we're not running towards him. Whenever you're chopping, it's always good to kind of Maybe spin around a tree. One to look for portage. Also keep an eye around your surroundings so that you don't get attacked. And here this is one of the smaller trees. I think this one gives us three pieces of wood only. That's it. There you go. Oh, there's another box. And rabbit. Can't do nothing with the rabbit, so we'll let him run away. However, the bags are always good. Oh, and another apple. We seem to be getting pretty good on food, so that's going to be a good thing. and find a fence line so I can try and find my way to the area that I'm familiar with. Again, this area doesn't seem to be fully... Well, let's just say this is not one of the areas that I want to be in. Ah, uh, here we go. So he's sniffing. So we want to crouch. That lowers our ability for him to smell us. And of course we didn't get what we needed. What we really needed was some damn would have been nice if we would have got some nails. We're going to need lots and lots and lots of nails. And when I mean we're going to need a lot, we're going to need a lot. So we're just going to run south, I guess. See? Different types of ores. One of the rare ores that you can also... Or pretty hard to find, but it's definitely worth every bit of it, is going to be copper. Let's go ahead and make some more planks. Uh, we'll make some more sticks. There we go. Rope. So usually if you see uh, a health bar and it's more than 30 or 25, <laughs> It's not something you want to be messing with unless you're ready to kill it. See, that's a bear. As you can see, this is a really nice spot. This would be a really good spot to build a base on. You got your water there. 
Unfortunately, there's a bear there. Maybe we can kind of squeeze into the water here. Now, for some odd reason, I don't know if they fix it, but like one of the things that I used to drive me crazy is like if a bear sends you and you go in the water, even if you're under the water, the bear can still get you. Or the wolf. So, go figure. So, there's no kelp, so it's not worth going underneath there. And this is what you need. Lock. So these are special crates. You need a special key to open, which is lockpick. But the items that you get in those things are well worth it. So I'm trying to find a fence line so I can try and get to where the normal area is that I'm used to. There's a wolf there. Is that a pig? There's also pigs in this game. Oh, that's right. There's a pig. It's like I'm going in circles, I know. And at night time it gets cold and you start taking damage if uh, it gets too cold, which means you have to build a fire. So I'm kinda hoping not to have to do that. Southeast. I just so oh, there we go. That's the fence I was talking about. So as you can see, so our running stamina is out. So let's go ahead and drink some water. And let's eat a berry. Okay, that should be fine for now. Well, it's about to expire anyway, so we might as well eat it. We got two chickens. It's going to give us some feathers. Okay, so what we can do is let's butcher that. Butcher that. We'll definitely need to cook that meat. And we also still got some kelp if we need it. Protein. I used to start with a protein bar, but I guess uh, we don't have that anymore. So let's see fishing rod. We don't have enough to make a fishing rod yet. How about a bow? Yep. So we definitely hurt on the cordage. So which way do we go? I would say we're just going to go one way and keep running. So we will follow this fence line all the way down and hope for the best. Try and avoid taking any fall damage as much as possible. As you can, break your leg. There's a wolf right there. There's that fence line, so. out of stamina. Ah, we got him. There go 
was a big Betty. We can call it the Grub Hub because that's where you get the grubs at. One of the things I like about this game is the fact that you are not limited by weight. I think if they were to throw that in this game, it would probably ruin it. But otherwise, the challenge in this game is pretty steep. I mean, this is not one of those games that you think, oh, yeah, it's easy. See, so that's the west. So the sun is going down, which is not a good thing. Probably should have studied the map to see where the new location was, so I would know which way I needed to go. What are our chances we get another chicken? get that metal. Where was it? Okay, so there it is. So this is not good because we are nowhere close to where we want to be. I kind of hope we would have had a pretty decent start. Well, I would say a decent start based off of the fact that in an area that I was familiar with. And I'm not familiar with this area. I'd hope to get a lot more rope by now, but... Well, we didn't get that much. So, one of the things we definitely need to make, uh, we need... Uh, Fire. Need a campfire. Where is that out? Oh, there we go. Campfire. Wow, you finally got some nails. Okay, I messed that one up. That could have been an easy f catch. night time we are nowhere close to where we need to be there's no island over there and I'm pretty sure there's a fence line that goes along so 
We should have been going maybe that way, northwest. All right, we're going to need to uh, set up. A, uh, we can't even do a foundation because we don't even have uh, enough nails. So, nail butcher. So we got three meats. All right. Oh. Okay. Need some fuel. Matches. And ignite. Hold the shift down and it just drops it in there. Then water, you can put that in your hand. Go to four. Oh, that's right. You can leave it in your inventory. Right mouse, fill it up. Don't drink dirty water because it will make you sick. I have to say, I think the bow is going to be a little bit more worth than the... Uh, fishing rod only because the fishing rod we would be catching fish for protein but we got we already caught three chickens so we're gonna have plenty of protein to get us through the next day as you can see the meat's done so now Drop that canteen in there, you got a bowl of water. things that we're also going to need is a shotgun. Need some what we need. Cloth for that. And we get cloth from, of course, animals and, of course, rabbits. Good, though. Get some fishing lure, so when we do get that, we'll be good. Oops. Turn around. our nails, but we've made some arrows. I believe for each one you make, I think you get two. I guess they've changed that. So before, you would be able to get two arrows from crafting one. I guess they've uh, changed that since then. Oh, we do get two. See? Just went up three. Alright, our water's maxed out. Later on you'll need the ash, use that for fertilizer when you start growing your own plants. But we got a ways before we can get there. There's a biofuel, so if we have four of these medicinal herbs, we can make one biofuel. And we need the biofuel because we need to make a fire starter kit. But you need two of those fibers to do that. So we'll definitely need to get some fibers, get a fire starter kit, because of course we, uh, we use the match to make uh, this fire here, so we don't freeze at night. And this keeps the animals away. So, as long 
else is messing around, I think what we'll do is do a little bit of tree chopping. Take advantage of the time. Look at that sky. Tell me that's not beautiful. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I believe they also have hawks in this game now too. So like if you're fishing, you gotta watch out. You don't pull it in fast because the hawk can now stick your fi steal your fish. So you gotta be careful. Unfortunately, we didn't pick a good spot. Maybe across the water would have been a better location. We could have been chopping down all those trees and stayed close to the fire. But we got our arrow. Shooting the um, the chickens and the rabbits. There's a little trick to it. You gotta aim a little bit above it, and you don't really have like a a marker to see where you're shooting. So it's kind of it's a weird way to get it. You, after you've tried it a few times, you'll catch on. That's one of the things I kind of wish, but you know, I guess trying to make it a survival, I need to try and make it a little bit harder. So I believe we're going to have to go that way. Because we kind of went from there all the way up to there, ran into the fence, and then we came back down around here. So it's starting to get a little bit brighter. Right, I think we can go ahead. Let's take this baby apart. The water's maxed out, so there's no sense in trying to... That and then the dismantle it, you just hold the delete
boxes are usually good because they give you the metal and the nails. Sometimes you also get components, electronic components, but nails is what you really want. Here's a rabbit near the water. I'm going to show you the trick when you shoot them. So when you aim, you got to have it just a little bit above their body. That makes sense. And then, boom. Here we also have carrots. As you can see, we just got a carrot. So. And he's still alive. Take if you had a pen, you could actually grow the rat, the breed rabbits and the chickens. But you know that's kind of like mid to end game content. I like to sometimes run along the water because you can always find items a lot easier. They're easier to spot on the beach. There we go. Now we're starting to get some. There's a fence line that goes there. And we are just completely lost in the sauce right now. I have no clue. I want to say we kind of ran around here. There was a fence line. There's a fence line there. And going up here. So I would think. Here's a fence line again here. So, I'm wondering if this is the path that goes all the way through. If it's up here, we'll find out. When you don't have um, your proteins, the vegetables and the water maxed out, your stamina will start to degrade and it will stay down until you get them to all three of them to a certain level. So that's one thing you got to pay attention to also. I'm 
going to stop chopping. I'm only going to pick up stuff that I can get off the ground. Uh, and we need to try and get to a location that I'm familiar with. one thing I can tell you, I am a loot junkie. I hate leaving stuff behind. I don't want to, I don't know how many times I've died in the game because I just didn't want to leave the loot behind. Map, so it's still going this way. We are following the fence line, so let's see where it takes us. I think this might be that we have to go. We have to probably go west. Probably a little bit north. north it looks like it's going to dead end it. And we'll definitely have to go west. Potassium. Is it iron? Yes, potassium.
location. Uh, I'm sure hoping it does. Because I'm about to make it. Okay, that's a pig, so we're good. Pig's dead. Bear is back. There's a deer. So one of the good things that you can get from the deer is a cordage. And you need that, or sinew, sinew. It's like a... Definitely need that for making clothing and like boots and stuff like that. seeds for later. Probably not the best move, but protein. Definitely gonna need to eat this protein bar. We can also eat the tree grubs. It's definitely the fire starter kit. and we can make a shotgun.
getting close now to an area that I'm familiar with. The problem that we have right now is we might need to uh well, yes we have enough. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create two of those. We're gonna create a fire. Water. Eat five berries. Space. This is the way we need to go. Water, we'll set up a quick campfire, cook the meat, and then hopefully we'll have enough time to still go get some stuff and find where we're trying to get to. This is definitely not where I want to be. what a miss is. But we can hear the arrow break, so that's a good thing.
Okay, if we can find a spot with some water, I think what we're going to do is uh, set up our temporary camp fire and uh, wait out and then get back on the road tomorrow and see what we can find. It's also an interesting place right there to build a camp, but again, there's no water, so you gotta make a well, and I mean, that's all kind of like mid-game content, it's not really worth it. So now we're starting to take a little damage because it's kind of cold. We definitely need to find a spot to set up a fire. Got lucky. There's some water. And I believe this is the other lake, a little small pond. We each kind of circle back to the other one. Yeah, so I think this is the way that we got to go to the old area. It's again that was off.
eventually three canteens is ideal, but right now, space-wise, we're running out of space, so. make ammo I tend to just make uh, shotgun shells you seem to find enough for the pistol I usually don't use the pistol usually you can one shot the wolves and the low level bears when they come at you Okay guys, so again, we made it to safety somewhat, so we definitely got lucky when we found this body of water, so we will stay here to the morning. I'm going to end this video, so the next video will hopefully not be as long as this one. Uh, hopefully we will find a, a location that we want to be at, set up our base, and show you what the base building looks like in the game. It's pretty good, uh, snap and play type. I uh, really love the way they got it. Uh, stay tuned if you like the video uh, or if you have any comments welcome to leave a uh, comment hit the like button thank you very much and look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode